Hello students, welcome to my channel Study Well eLearning. Today we are going to discuss about apomixis. Apomixis is seed formation without fertilization. So it is a type of asexual reproduction that mimics sexual reproduction. It mimics sexual reproduction as seeds are being formed. Okay, but because it does not involve fertilization, that's why we cannot consider it as sexual reproduction. That's why it is asexual reproduction. Okay, and seeds are being formed here. So let's see what are the methods by which seeds are formed. So we will be discussing about methods here. is mainly first is formation of diploid egg it means we can say that if megaspore mother cell the megaspore mother cell you know that megaspore mother cell undergoes meiosis to form four megaspores out of those four megaspores three degenerate and only one will develop into an embryo sac which is the female gametophyte and inside female gametophyte develops the female egg okay female gamete egg so megaspore mother cell we can call it mega sporocyte it is a diploid cell and without undergoing meiosis it directly forms instead of going undergoing meiosis it undergoes mitosis and it forms an embryo so no fertilization is involved no meiosis no fertilization is involved here okay so this is one way and in second way second type what happens those surrounding cells cells that surround the embryo sac they enter the embryo sac okay so you can say uh, some non embryo sac cells embryo sac cell, cells outside embryo sac will also develop into embryos like new cellular cells okay they form embryos that also happens there is no reduction division involved and <clears throat> these are embryos formed. So many embryos will be formed here. New cellular cells, as you know, this is the embryo sac. Outside embryo sac are, is new cellus. And it is this, the whole the space around, if this is the embryo sac, the space around this embryo sac is occupied by new cellular cells. This is new cells. So it is occupied by new cell cells. So these cells sometimes will start undergoing mitosis and they will enter the embryo sac and they will form embryos. Okay, this is another way. And like this, many new cell cells can behave in this manner and they will form many embryos inside that one embryo sac. So there, these are broadly we can say there are two ways of formation of what apomictic seeds, seeds without fertilization. Now if we want to talk about the types then there are these three types. Okay, these are types are also actually the ways but broadly we can uh, say there are two ways. Okay? And uh, this type of asexual reproduction occurs in uh, mainly two families one is gramini the grain family the grass family which is now known as poaceae and uh, also occurs in asteraceae asteraceae is the sunflower family okay sunflower also shows apomixis perianthum shows apomixis calendula many there are many ornamental flowers in this family and they show apomixis Asteraceae is there, then there is Poaceae. Poaceae is the grass family. 
अर्लियर इट वॉज कॉल्ड ग्रामिनी वीट राइस एंड ग्रासेस बिलोंग टू दिस फैमिली तो वी हैव एग्जाम्पल्स लाइक हेलियंथस we have parthenium from this family the carrot grass from poesy we have onion okay and uh, if we uh, uh, look at other families then we have uh, individual examples like apple mango and citrus fruits these are belonging to other families families other than these because <coughs> these two families have many many members which are showing apomixis but other examples are citrus fruits apple mango okay so let's <coughs> discuss to ye ho gaya hamara ways and then we have the examples now if we talk about the types we go into the technical terms then we see that there is non current agamospermy you know this word apomixis this is formation of seeds without fertilization <clears throat> the meaning of this word apomixis apo stands for without mixis stands for mixing without mixing without mixing of what gametes without fusion of gametes seeds are being formed and this word agamospermy many times it is used uh, synonymously with apomixis but it actually it is a type of apomixis you can say because apomixis uh, is vegetative also where special structures like bulbils are formed so <clears throat> agamospermy agamo means gamo means fusion or marriage spermy means seed formation seeds okay agamospermy means formation of seeds without involving fusion of gametes non current agamospermy here what happens in this case haploid embryos are formed haploid embryos okay non current something non current which is not going to give any results means haploid embryos will form non viable seeds seeds formed by these haploid embryos will be non viable seeds so this is not going to give any profit to the plant because plant wants to make seeds but these seeds are non viable they they are not going to germinate so plant will not get anything out of it that's why we call it non current agamospermy okay and it forms it results in formation of haploid embryos haploid embryos are formed by mitosis of haploid cells haploid cells like synergids if synergids or antipodal cells are involved in formation of embryos then this is non current agamospermy non current apomixis so no these seeds are non viable then comes recurrent here diploid cells are forming the diploid cells are forming diploid embryos but that is that too without forming any gametes and without fusion of gametes diploid cells here it can occur and the result is also formation of diploid embryos and these diploid embryos will form viable seeds so here what is formed diploid embryos formed diploid cells now it is of two types one is apospore in case of apospore this thing occurs the new cellular cells new cellular cells develop into embryos this is called apospore okay apo means without formation of spores you know megaspores and microspores are formed megaspore should form here okay but because that is not being formed so it is apospore and uh, second is diplospore as a diploid egg is being formed so this formation of diploid egg or megaspore mother cell directly forming an embryo after undergoing mitosis is diplospore so this recurrent agamospermy 
here what is happening diploid embryos are being formed which will make viable seeds and <clears throat> it is occurring two ways either by formation of embryo cellular cells which is known as apospore or by formation of diploid eggs known as diplospore okay so this these are two types the third is adventive polyembryony and polyembryony means formation of many embryos within a single embryo sac so if one embryo sac is having more than one embryo then the seed will also have more than one embryo okay many embryos will be there so adventive polyembryony what happens see adventive polyembryony is a type of apomixis whereas the simple or true polyembryony true or we sometimes call it simple polyembryony that is what happens that is a seed a seed is having many embryo sacs seed with many embryo sacs will form many it will form many embryos okay the seed will be having many embryos so this is polyembryony but this is true type of polyembryony if there was an ovule which was having many which has developed many female gametophytes many embryo sacs so after fertilization all the embryo sacs will develop into embryos so this type of seed will have many embryos we will call it polyembryony okay these are formed as a result of fertilization that's why we are calling it true polyembryony whereas the adventive polyembryony we are talking about here that which is apomixis is due to entry of new cellular cells these are new cellular cells these are integument even in cells from integument which are also diploid they can also participate in formation of embryos so here new cellular cells if they protrude into the embryo sac and develop into embryos then new cells will form diploid embryo if integument cells they are entering into the embryo sac and they are developing into embryos so what will happen there will be more than one embryo inside the embryo sac okay so this is called adventive polyembryony it is found in mango it is found in citrus fruits so in these fruits the seeds contain many embryos okay so this is polyembryony these are the types of these are three main types of apomixis okay then we have uh, its advantage what is the advantage of apomixis you know <clears throat> to uh, generate so su superior varieties of plants what is then hybridization so two plants with superior characters are crossed with each other okay by undergoing the processes uh, you know about emasculation then there is bagging of stigma then there is hybridization and again we again cover the stigma okay then what happens after fertilization seeds are formed seeds are sown in the <clears throat> fields then the plants are tested plants are observed the plants with superior characters are selected how if we have chosen two plants and these two plants have five good characters each and we want to make a plant in which we want to have maximum good characters okay then we will cross these two and the result we will get suppose we are getting 100 plants out of those 100 only 5 are showing those 10 characteristics then we will choose those plants so this is called selection so it takes a it's a very long process it takes a very uh, lot of time lot of effort okay and when hybrid seeds are developed then these seeds if they are allowed to undergo sexual reproduction then these seeds they lose their uh, superior characteristics as the characters get segregated you have studied genetics uh, you know about genes 
okay genes from two good plants are uh, collected okay they are added in the same one plant they are brought together then what happens if we allow them to undergo sexual reproduction on its own then those characters get segregated okay so the whole process of formation of hybrid seeds is done again so main advantage of apomictic seeds is that we can produce hybrid seeds using apomixes so the, the plants which are showing apomixes their seeds their hybrids will not lose their characteristics okay the good characteristics will remain there so this is the main advantage okay so if about advantages as you have to write all this that hybrids lose their characters so hybrid seeds are easier to be made using apomixes and scientists are studying these plants which are naturally showing apomixes and they are trying to identify those genes which are which are responsible for apomixes and those genes will be identified they will be isolated and they will be transferred into or introduced into other plants as well then there will be chances that they will also become apomictic plants they will also form apomictic seeds okay so and this is about apomixes okay so you should know its ways of formation of apomictic seeds its examples its advantage and what research is going on about apomictic seeds and also how apomixis is different from parthenocarpy you remember parthenocarpy parthenocarpy also does not involve fertilization there is no fertilization involved but here what is being formed fruits carpi okay fruits are formed without fertilization so this is fruit formation without fertilization and in this case what happens the fruits formed are seedless fruits whereas we here we are talking about seed formation apomixis is seed formation without fertilization okay so thanks for watching do subscribe and share the video thank you